Over the years, farmers from the Kavango East and West regions who wanted to market their livestock have been doing so at the nearest abattoir at Oshakati, which is hundreds of kilometers away. Many complained of the exorbitant transport cost they had to endure to get their livestock sold and therefore generated minimal profit. Officiating at the groundbreaking event, Agriculture, Water and Forestry Minister John Mutorua said the facility forms a major part of a national program to construct and upgrade several abattoirs with the aim to develop the northern communal areas. Mutorua says all of it is aimed at enhancing cattle and beef value chain in these areas to positively impact on the local, regional and national economy. If there were farmers who were so disadvantaged all over the years, I think the facts speak for themselves. These are the farmers in the Gavango East and Gavango West. And therefore, this is the response of government now. If you look at the big cattle ranch of Mangeti, it's also situated here for years. But then you don't have a facility, proper facility, like this one, then I think any reasonable person will agree. The abattoir will be modernized to meet international meat hygiene norms and standards so that processed products can be exported to other parts of the country and to the foreign markets. So the important thing is have your facility which conform to international standards so that your meat can be exported, can be sent to other markets within Namibia and outside Namibia. And I'm sure our veterinarians will work so hard with time that even lucrative markets like EU and Norway or China, very soon, the meat can also be exported there. The facility which will be able to slaughter approximately 40 cattle or 80 sheep and goats will be constructed over a period of 15 months. On her part, Kavango West Governor Sirka Ausiku called on farmers to organize themselves and be ready to utilize the facility once completed.